the inspection of a new bridge has gone horribly wrong. Inspectors inside a broken crane's bucket are stranded 150 feet above a river. One wrong move, and they could fall to their deaths. They cling to life under the new Dames Point Bridge that spans the St. John's River in Jacksonville, Florida. For Department of Transportation trainee Kim Hall, this day begins as a great learning opportunity. It will be her first time riding a hydraulic crane designed especially for inspecting the undersides of bridges. It was more of a quality inspection that was going on at the time to make sure that the contractor had actually performed up to standards. So I was very excited about that opportunity. Kim boards the bucket with three veteran inspectors. She watches as one maneuvers the bucket slowly over the bridge's edge. Looking down at the steep drop is a chilling sight. But Kim must concentrate on the job at hand as she and the team check for stress cracks in the bridge's construction. Suddenly, the bucket swings violently. You hear a loud sound, and the bucket begins to swing. The bucket dumps one inspector into the river, 150 feet below. A safety line catches another inspector, leaving him dangling in midair. Only Inspector Sam Martin remains with Kim Hall inside the bucket, but they fear they'll fall out at any second. From atop the bridge, the crane's operator calls 911. Bridge inspector uh, truck, it has some damage disabled. I have three men hanging in a bucket, and one man went out into the water. The Jacksonville Fire Department's newly formed high-angle rescue team is dispatched to the bridge. Fire Captain Randy Fulford plans to scale down the boom's arm and hoist the inspectors to safety. Kim is the only one able to communicate with Captain Fulford. She tells him that the inspector dangling from the bucket is in pain. She's also worried about Inspector Sam Martin, who is frozen with fear. One of my fears is that Sam would pass out, so I tried to keep the conversation going with him, but as I looked in his face, he had turned white. Captain Fulford must get down to them fast. Determining that the mechanical arm is stable, he begins his risky descent. Now, all his training will be put to the test. My worst fear in this particular incident is that I'm going to make a mistake. We have trained extensively, but in any type of situation like this, a single mistake can be fatal, fatal for more than one person. Kim tries to calm her colleagues while she fights back her own fears. I'm afraid that I was gonna be the next person to fly out into the river. Cautiously, Captain Fulford makes his way onto the bucket. Adding my weight to the bucket is a big risk at this time. The worst that can happen is that we all go in the water. Um, and we lose some lives. The bucket holds. Captain Fulford immediately hands a rope to the inspector who dangles on the safety line. You're the tagline. He's the one who gave us peril this time. He's suspended by about a three inch safety belt around his waist that's already cutting into his abdomen and making his back extremely painful. With the help from other firefighters on top of the bridge, the inspector is hoisted to the top of the bucket. Now, he can be fitted with a safety harness. Once the harness is securely fastened, he's pulled to the top of the bridge. Sam get into his harness, Kim secures her own. She is then hoisted to safety. Now, rescuers turn their attention to Sam.
miraculously, Sam and all the others escape serious injury. Even the inspector who fell 150 feet into the river still swam to safety after dislocating his shoulder. But despite their good fortune, the survivors couldn't help but wonder what went wrong to cause this horrible ordeal. According to a failure analysis report prepared by Law Engineering for the Florida Department of Transportation, one of the crane's main hinges snapped and caused the bucket's arm to swing violently over the river. Examination of the hinge revealed that it was extremely worn. It was also said that inadequate welding and an overload of occupants contributed to the crane's malfunction. This dramatic incident underscored the importance of the high angle rescue team. I feel like we proved something to the city and to ourselves to the city that there's a definite need for this type of expertise and to ourselves and the fact that we can pull something like this off and do it properly. And for trainee Kim Hall, her very first bridge inspection became a lesson in courage. She passed with flying colors and is grateful to Randy Fulford and his team for their brave efforts.